church. Hello. Um, I became a Christian when I was 12. That was probably six years ago. Knowing what I know now, I can say that it is possible to be a Christian but not experience the abundant life that Jesus had paid for us. Because back then, I was a Christian, but I lived like the rest of the world. At age 14, I became a very active church member. I was part of the youth ministry, content creation team, tech, ushering, name it, I'm part of it. But despite all that, I wasn't at peace. This is because my previous church believed that sickness, poverty, lack, and even rape could happen to us as part of God's plan for our lives. We were taught that God is allowing evil things to happen to us, probably to teach us a lesson. As a 14-year-old, I was afraid. I felt like I always have to earn the favor of God so that I wouldn't be punished. When I was having acne breakouts, skin asthma, hormonal imbalance, irregular menstrual cycles, we thought that probably God is allowing this to teach me to be humble towards other people. I always felt condemned for my past sins because back then I had a history of being really competitive and always wanting to be number one before I accepted Christ. But I misinterpreted humility to the point where I became really passive. I thought humility is letting go of the best and accepting the ordinary in life for the benefit of others. From being an outstanding student, I became a mediocre because of the fear of being competitive again and disappoint God. To tell you honestly, at a young age, I became tired of being a Christian. I used to envy the non-believers because it seemed to me that they don't have to earn someone to be accepted. Until the year 2020, my mom and I got an invite from my aunt Katrina to join the Now Faith East ministry. That is a ministry that our pastor started during the pandemic. There were a lot of materials in there that teach about your identity and authority in Christ. The Now Faith East ministry and Wisdom Church of Manila became vessels for me to know God's perfect will and purpose. Through the uncompromised word that's being taught in this church, I learned my authority and identity so well that the favor is making its way to find me every single day. Amen. I learned that we are seated right next to Jesus, far above every rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is named, meaning far above lack, poverty, sickness, and mediocrity. Christ has provided every blessing for us exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or think. Knowing the word, speaking the word, and applying the word allowed acceleration to happen in my life. The seemingly impossible and extraordinary things for others, it became a normal. It came to a point that my professors would initiate a call to me with me to ask how am I able to consistently be on the batch outstanding list while still being able to pursue my hobbies and leisure. I always reply that it's because I love what I do and God strengthens me to do it. But I know it's more than that. It is the manifestation of God's promise that as His children, wherever we go and whatever we do, we excel and our influence will be, made visible of, will be made visible to all. Of course, even as young adults, we face challenges that needed to be overcome. Being the captain of the, radio, of the broadcasting department in my campus, my trainer entrusted me with new members to train for our upcoming competitions. Working with my team for almost a month is seriously try tiring and draining as none of them initiates nor contributes. But the Lord reminded me to speak over the situation instead of nagging my members and declare wisdom over my members every single day. Within less than a month of declaring over each one of them, I continuously receive insights from the team and even emails at midnight to tell me their new ideas for our broadcast. Recently, we had a competition and won the championship, but that required me to practice the spiritual authority and identity that I learned in the church. During our competition day, some of our devices in editing software malfunctioned. The proctors knew, um, the, um, the proctors knew what was happening, and they were deducting, deducting points from our overall score. My members were panicking and crying at that time, but as their captain, their spiritual captain, I instructed them to stop panicking and instead declare, thank you, Lord, for our championship. They were non-believers, by the way. 
I distanced myself from the working area and started speaking in tongues as if there were no trouble at that time. After a week, we were declared champions and I was awarded as the best news anchor in Quezon City and was nominated as the best campus journalist in NCR. I am not sharing these things to talk big about my personal abilities, but rather I am a witness that the laws operating in the kingdom of God are not a respecter of age. We, the younger generation, have to understand that God is always for us and never against us. As young as I am, I could say that Wisdom Church of Manila can help you break a lot of mindsets and beliefs that might be hindering you from receiving your breakthroughs. Thank you. Wow. Thank you.